Hi, this is Reggie Dentmore with LearnMMD.com. Today we're going to be making an animated GIF using Miku Miku Dance and GIMP 2.6. Here's the image we'll be creating. Miku just walking along through the desert there, walking in place. We're going to be using GIMP 2.6, which is available as freeware from GIMP.org, G-I-M-P dot O-R-G. It's as easy as this to get. Click download and it's yours. It's a large download. GIMP is a large, complicated program, but the results rival Photoshop in quality, and you can do almost anything with it. And it's a terrific tool if you want to make an animated GIF, simple to use. So we'll get started. When you download GIMP and open it, this is the screen that you get. We're going to go to File, New. And we'll be using print screen on the keyboard to capture screen images that we'll paste into GIMP here. So we want our new project to be the size of a full blank screen. So in my case, it's 1024 by 768 and OK. Now we have a window ready to paste into. Whenever you run a program concurrently with Miku Miku Dance, be sure to open that program first because MMD uses your computer's CPU almost 100%. It's busy all the time and makes anything else you're running move slowly. So open GIMP first, open new, get your window set up, and then load Miku Miku Dance. <coughs> here we go. I have a dance already to work with here. Open. Walk test. And there's Miku standing in the desert. I'm going to go to frame zero. Zero, enter. Mm -hmm. And push play here. You can watch your walk. So that's the whole little routine right there. For our animated GIF, I'm going to make her stand in place instead of having her walk off the edge of the animation. So I'll come over here and select Miku's model. And above the play button, I'll click model. Now the camera will stay on the model while she walks. And that's our animation. I'm going to find one cycle of her walking. So let's see. I'm going to advance the frames up until I see her left foot hit the ground. That'll be the start of the animation. There it is in frame 15. Bam, foot on the ground. I push print screen and go to GIMP. And under edit, you can find the paste command, but I'm going to use the shortcut control V. And when you paste something in GIMP, it's a floating selection, it's called. It's not attached to a layer. To attach it, I'm going to click the new layer button down here. And now my new image is a pasted layer. So go back to Miku and advance three frames using the arrow buttons. One, two, three. And push print screen. Go back to GIMP, control V, and paste a new layer. Back to Miku. I'm using three frames in Miku because MMD is running at 30 frames per second, whereas GIMP is going to create an animated GIF that can only run at maximum 10 frames per second. So you'll want three clicks, three frames advances on Miku for each layer that you're going to paste into GIMP. Print screen, move, control V, new layer. I'm just going to go for it here until I see her left foot hit the ground again. One, two, three. Print screen. Gimp. Control V. New layer. Make a dance. One, two, three. Print screen. Control V. New layer. Make a dance. One, two, three. Print screen. Gimp. Control V, make a new layer. Miku, one, two, three. Print screen. Control V, new layer. Miku, one, two, three. Print screen. Control V, new layer. Make a dance. Print screen. Control V. New layer. Miku. One, two, three. Print screen. 
Control V, new layer, you go one, two, three, print screen, Control V, new layer, Miku, one, two, three. Okay, you saw her foot hit the ground there. Actually went four frames, but it doesn't matter. There she is, foot on the ground. So I don't want to duplicate that cell because in GIMP, my first image was her with her left foot on the ground. My animated GIF wants to run smoothly without a duplicated frame, so I'm done. I don't need to copy this one. I'll close that. Now we have all of our layers. I want to cut and crop the image just to the size I want using the little X-Acto tool button here. You can move it, you can reframe it, resize it, put it where you want. Let's see. No, that's fine, I can leave it there. I saw Control-Z to back up. There we go. Center her better in the window. Okay, centered. And now uh, just click enter, and there she is, cropped. Next thing I want to do is resize the image. I'll go to image, scale. Right now she is 210 pixels wide. Let's make her be 225, just for fun. 225, and scale. And you can see the image is now resized to my new size, and all the layers are affected, so they're all the same size now. I'm done. I can save it. File. Save as. I'm going to call it Mikuwak, K U W A L K, and then R D for Reggie Dentmore. Come down to the select. Well, I'm going to put it on my desktop, so I'll click that one. Then come down to the select file type, and uh, you'll see that GIMP can output a lot of different file types. We're going to use GIF. Now, as you can see, it's added it to my file name. It's Mikuwakrd.gif. So I can save. Now I've already done this before, so it says, do you want to replace it? Yes, please. Now I have the option to flatten the image to save as a GIF, or I can save it as animation. So I'll save as animation, then export. Now I can have it loop forever, or I can have the animation just play one time and stop. I'll click loop forever. Over here we have 100 milliseconds is the time between frames. That's as fast as an animated GIF can go. That's a tenth of a second per frame. So we'll leave that 100 as a minimum number. Down here, use the delay entered above for all frames. That's what I want to do. So there we go. And save. So it saved it. Let's take a look. And there she goes. Oh, yeah, there's a white flash. That means one of my layers is white. So let me go fix that. I'll close, close that even there. And check the layers. And sure enough, the background layer is white. So I'm going to click it to select it, drag it over here to the trash can and throw it out, and then save again. File, save. Select this animation, export. And we're done. So let me minimize that. Check out the new animation here. There she goes. That's it. She's walking in place. We're done. So be sure to go and visit Learn Miku Miku Dance, learnmmd.com. Lots of information here for beginners and for experienced users as well. Plenty to look at. One of the main features is the sitemap page, which gives you a list of the hottest topics that people are looking for, and also a list of the windows that are available, as in, excuse me, the pages that are available as individual screens that you may not be able to find easily by going through the blog format of the page. There's also a bonus page list, which again, gives you an index to pages that you might not find if you're just going through the blogs. The downloads page has lots of tricks and toys that you'll want to have. Where is it? There we go. You can download Miku Miku Dance. There are the links for it. Sometimes Miku loads, but won't operate because it's missing a DirectX file, a DLL file. There's a fix for that. Then there are other toys and fun things that you'll want to have and what that you'll want to know about. So visit learnmmd.com, and uh, thank you for watching the video.